Attacked by his own pets this morning, a 13 year old is fighting for his life after his dogs turned on him. The boy's injuries were so intense he had to be airlifted to University Hospital. However, authorities are optimistic the boy will survive. Sheriff Javier Salazar tells us at least six adult pit bulls were removed from that house. The family owns all of them. At this point, it's not clear why the dogs attacked the boy. The sheriff says the deputy that responded to the call just so happened to be a fully trained paramedic. He believes that training is what gave the boy a fighting chance. He had some specialized gear with him. He was able to administer aid, but he, he actually told us that the bites that he'd seen were, were probably some of the, the worst wounds that he's ever seen on a person. Now, the sheriff says right now it's too early to tell if the parents will face charges. As for the dogs, two are likely to be euthanized, and the other four will be under a 10-day observation period with Animal Care Services. Police over in Seguin looking for a man who they say left three mentally disabled people inside a hot car. His name is Corey Gill, and he's supposed to be the caregiver for the people who were found near the Stratton Oak apartment complex. So far, Gill has been suspended from his job. Investigators say he will be charged with three counts of deadly conduct. If you have any idea where he is, call Guadalupe County Crime Stoppers. The extreme heat wave that has left about half of the nation's population under some sort of heat alert. Triple digit temperatures are expected today from the desert southwest to Washington, D.C. As ABC's Andrew Dembert reports, the heat has hit Arizona especially hard. This morning, another round of record-breaking heat is scorching most of the U.S. From California to Maine, blistering temperatures have 150 million Americans on high alert as July is on track to be the Earth's hottest month ever recorded. And a new report says it may be the warmest month the planet has seen in 120,000 years. In El Paso, Texas, temperatures have hit 100 for 43 straight days, while Phoenix, Arizona has seen a scorching 110 degrees for nearly 30 days in a row. The extreme temperatures have officials in Maricopa County bracing for the worst. The medical examiner's office bringing in a fleet of coolers to house the anticipated surge in heat-related deaths, similar to the height of the pandemic, saying their medical examiner's office is currently at 106% capacity. This is probably the worst July we ever had. The Phoenix area has confirmed 25 heat-related deaths this month, but nearly 250 others are still under investigation. If you're out in the heat, you should be sweating. If all of a sudden you're feeling hot and you're not sweating, it means your system is starting to shut down. And the heat is gripping the entire northern hemisphere, fueling massive wildfires in Greece. One fire engulfed a military ammunition site, triggering a massive explosion. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. In Washington, the Senate passed the National Defense Policy Bill last night, setting up a showdown with the Republican-led House. Senators voted to pass the bill, authorizing a top-line budget figure of $886 billion for fiscal 2024. That's the total that was included in the debt ceiling deal worked out between the Biden administration and House Republicans. But the House has passed its own version of the bill, known as the National Defense Authorization Act, or NDDA, earlier this month. Now Senate leaders can begin negotiations to find a compromise version that can pass both chambers. But a floor fight may be looming over controversial amendments in the House over measures to restrict abortion and transgender health care access for our military. If a compromise can be reached, the Senate version includes a 5.2 percent pay raise for service members. For the sixth time since June 14th, a bus of migrants seeking asylum has arrived in Los Angeles from Texas. 36 people, including 13 children, were on this bus that left Brownsville earlier this week. The Coalition for Humane Immigrant Rights believes that the state of Texas paid for the trip. The group says the migrants will be looked after until they are connected with loved ones or sponsors in that area. Sad news overnight, a founding member of the legendary American rock band The Eagles has died at the age of 77. Randy Meisner, who served as bassist and vocalist, was best known for his signature ballad, Take It to the Limit. Meisner formed the band in 1971 with Glenn Fry, Don Henley, and Bernie Ledden. He made major contributions to The Eagles catalog, including the classic LP Hotel California, but left after the album's tour. Meisner had solo success with the 1978 soft rock hit Hearts on Fire. He appeared with the Eagles at the 1998 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction, but never formally reunited with the band. Meisner, who suffered from health issues in his later years, passed away from COPD on Wednesday. We just found out about all this this morning. I was lucky enough to see him and the guys. 
up at AT&T Stadium um, during their tour in uh, 2018. 2018. Yeah. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.